heal up again. Oh. I don't have any healing items or spells. You have, to, hey, you have to open the chest from the right side. Not the box of shorts. That's a equipment for youngest. <laughs> I do believe that comes in important later, so I would recommend not getting rid of it. Oop. I'll check later. Bridge over there. Let's have them both psych up once and attack. That should be enough to kill them. Well, it has enough MP to cast one for it. It's kind of sad. I was right. That's another monster that will attack you and hunt you down. <coughs> Two each. Yeah, I'm not sure what the damage multiplier is for that, so. Someone knows you can post it in the comments below. Would that be enough? That makes monsters of a level lower than me. Uh, stop attacking me. Or of a certain level, stop attacking me. There we go. But they make the stronger monsters still attack me. Some enemies will do that, stare off into space or clean themselves or do something. It's actually nice. It's also an indicator of certain enemies, uh, what type of attack they're going to use next. Level 4. Squelch. I believe that cures poison. Ooh, skill points. Let's give it to the sword for now. Skill points as well. Okay. He currently has a club. Let's go clubs and sights. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Where the hell am I? 
it's really easy to get lost in this game. Especially when you haven't played the game as much, when you haven't played the game as long as I have. Waffle caves that way. Too high. Sometimes you can jump off cliffs, but that's be low enough for it. Oh, it's starting to come dark out. Depending how dark it gets on my on my uh, screen, the upper right or my uh, recording screen. I'll probably stop the recording for a few seconds so I can adjust the brightness for you guys. Because it's getting pretty dark. Anyway, before we go in there, <clears throat> we're going to do a side quest. The water effects were off, of course. But from now on, we're going to start getting uh, skill points every time we level up. The highest number of skill points you can get is nine. <laughs> I believe. Maybe five. Oh. But that's the case, so. <laughs> Distribute your skill points properly. Because you can't get them back once they're once they're, you know, put in. Once they're put in for good. Obviously. But there are items that will give you skill points. There are some items called uh, skill seeds, or seed to skill, something like that. <laughs> that will... <laughs> sweet. That will increase your skill points probably as well. And sometimes we'll come across these as well, where enemies will be too stunned or frightened to move. But yeah, like every game, technically you can stay here and level up to your level 99. Don't recommend it, it takes forever. Not that I've tried. But... Yeah. Okay. Let's steal from the guy. Yay, hold the water. I give my seals all to him, so. I'll show you where it's at. <laughs> From here and how to get there. Okay. If you come up over here... Oop. After the battle. Ah, satyrs. Anyway, those, um... <coughs> while I'm fighting these guys, I'll explain those monsters that were hunting you down. At a certain point, those monsters become important. You little... Um, they'll be useful for something later, so... If you want to fight them, you can. They do give you a decent amount of EXP. And they give you an item you can sell for a lot of gold. I'll probably do that off-screen once everything's said and done. Do I? First person... That red tree all the way over there. That's where we need to go. <laughs> I 
Now, I haven't seen anyone do a Let's Play on this, so I don't know <coughs> what our, you guys are probably expecting. Ah, Bubble Slime. <laughs> These guys can poison you, so be careful. But, um, I don't know what you guys are expecting for an LP from this, for me at least. <laughs> if you're expecting a, you know, humorous LP, you know, you might want to go somewhere else. I'm not very funny. But I do hope you guys do enjoy this. This is one of the few games I do really, really enjoy. I'm probably going to use that holy water again. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. Coins. You sometimes get the most of the time, actually, especially in the beginning. You'll get the same amount of gold as you do the XP. There's a bridge up here I want to cross, so <coughs> try to stay close to the river. Anyway, um, those monsters come in three ranks. Uh, copper monsters, silver monsters, and golden monsters. They won't appear those colors, by the way, in case you're thinking that. <laughs> the copper monsters are the weakest of them. They're easy to kill. The silver are the moderate. And the gold ones are the really hard ones to kill, especially at this point in the game. <laughs> uh, at this point in the game, if you run across a gold monster, you're pretty much dead. Most gold monsters can attack twice, so... Also, I'm gonna say this again, as I say in, in every set one of my LPs, no spoilers. <laughs> I should probably put, put my uh, no spoiler logo up again. But seriously, I don't want spoilers for people that never played this game, never even heard this game, but are interested. It just, you know, takes the fun out of it. The same will be true when I do a blind LP. Don't spoil it for me. <laughs> Don't spoil it for anyone. That's simple. Yeah, I'm gonna start putting my uh, no spoiler tag up again. I haven't been doing that lately, so. I don't have time to exploit that. Yeah, that's quite dark. <sighs> when we get to the tree, I'm going to stop the recording for just a few minutes so I can adjust the brightness.